Y'all, it's so beautiful here. Seven o'clock and the sun's already way up. Check out this lemon cucumber. It is huge. Did not expect this. And our Kajari melons, Cuca melons getting way up there. Haven't seen any little Cuca melons yet. This is a new tomato plant. I got to plant it this evening. It's called um, Black Prince. Oh, look at that. Grabbed on to it by itself. And I realized yesterday I did my garden tour and I did not even show this area. So this is how this little area is coming along here. Corn's looking cool. The little weeby little pumpkins are doing good. Some flowers are coming up. I got a couple more I'm gonna put here because I think I have a few that didn't germinate. So I've got um, skyscraper. I thought that would be kind of cool. And then some more of the teddy bear. Finally finding uh, sunflowers and seeds and all that stuff back in the hardware stores like Home Depot and Southern States. They were a little scarce there for a little while. You couldn't find them. We were out here last night talking about potentially moving the high tunnel while we were blocking up the beehives. And um, these lights came on as we were getting ready to leave and it was so beautiful, just magical. So we do have a little problem here that we need addressed. When they um, drilled our well and then ran the line over here, ignore all the mess, from the well house, there's the little white pump coming out as well. I say well house, we don't really have a well house, but there's a sinkhole back there. And there's also one here now where he put this water spigot for the garden. So we've got to address that here soon. All this rain has caused it to uh, sink. This trellis is just filling up. The kids love running through there. They're really gonna love it when it starts getting really full. Bean color bouncing back here. I just love seeing all this orange when you pull up. Orange is not my favorite color. I'm a redhead. I don't really look all that great in orange. Maybe like a dark orange, a burnt orange or something like that. But I love seeing all this orange and the green from the squash and pumpkin blooms. Oh, I was going to see if our gourd blooms had opened up this morning. They may... Nope. So last night after the thunderstorm came through, um, we came out, I pulled up the rest of the broccoli plants. I had harvested those yesterday and we ate them for dinner. So I'm gonna weed this bed this evening and prep it, I guess, for more tomato plants. But while we were out here, we were talking about potentially moving the high tunnel to here. And I'm looking, I'm looking here. And I've, I've got to go back and look and see exactly how. Um, exactly how tall it is but I think this would be the only space probably up to about here that would miss out on this little bit of morning sun because once it got up over the tree line right here it would hit all of this area anyway 
and it would stay here for, you know, you get about, we get about seven or eight hours of direct sunlight right here, just in the midpoint of the day. So at about nine o'clock to four o'clock, the sun is hitting this garden. There's a couple little spots that these little trees here shade for just an hour or so, but I don't think it's really gonna make that big of a difference. I just feel like when you come up our road there, it would be more impressive to see the garden first and the high tunnel over here on this side. And that would the morning sun would hit the high tunnel and get it, you know, get it started. And like we were saying last night, if you watch that video, um, if this area is just too shaded because of the high tunnel, ooh, look at all this new fruit. If this area is just too shaded or that area over there is just too shady because of the high tunnel, we could make it a, um, where all of our herbs are, where most of our herbs are. So this may be my first Roma tomato. Maybe it wasn't there last night. I just love looking at all of this. I've got some little cherry tomatoes coming up here. Anyway, so it was just an idea that I had um, a couple of days ago. I've been thinking about it and thinking that it might be better here because we can push a little bit of this dirt down to flatten out the slope more versus having, having this, oh, yeah, that's where those shoes are. Having this sloping down would be much better than having it sloping to the side, which is what would happen here. Anyway, just thought it would be a better idea and it might be easier for Chris to get that area prepped. Who's been munching on this? Yesterday morning, I did a video on being proactive with your pest control. And the main thing to do that is just being out in your garden, being present in the garden and checking your plants. I have a lot of uh, in different areas with plants in it. And um, I just have to check each area. My bean area, because I overplanted, I say I, because Bo and I overplanted the bean area, um, it's a little harder to check there, but as you can see, like, it looks like, see, this is a remnant of something, some poo. So I need to, um, and that's fresh. So that means whatever is here, you know, in my pest video, I didn't even talk about aphids, but I have been fortunate that I don't really have an aphid problem. I had some aphids on a couple of my beans. And when I sprinkle with DE, that kind of got rid of them. I found some June bugs over here day before yesterday, and that's what that's what got after this. That may be what that poo is over there is June bug. Cause see, this is where I found all the June bugs. So um, that looks like June bug as well. The bigger munching is more than likely June bug. They got on my lemon balm. Um, last night I found one on my lemon balm in my green stalk. Well, these little ones that I didn't think were gonna make it, they're, they're coming along. 
And these other pole beans I planted, now I don't remember which ones they were. Good Mother Stollard, maybe? They're like a dry bean. Or maybe these are orca beans. These might be orca beans. They are starting to pop up, and I plan on growing them up this fence here. These little beans are coming along. These are uh, um, white half runners. And of course, these are the, the Blue Lake pole green beans. Lots of yellow squash. Apparently, when I transplanted everything, I thought I put yellow squash on this side. And, um,. Oh, look, he's got pollen all over him. Can you see him? Look at that. Cool. But anyway, I think the majority of this right side is Black Beauty zucchini. But I'm not seeing any fruit. I had that one random piece that I harvested and we ate. It was so good. So delicious. But I'm not seeing any more. That was just random to have that big one. Anyway, it'll be okay. That squash is doing great. I have got to get in here and weed. All of this rain has brought out the weeds. Looking to see this. This is the bed that had the majority of the aphids. There was one plant in particular, and I, I showed it in a video probably a couple of times just because it was so hard for me to get rid of them. And the ants were harvesting them, so I had to let that one bean plant go because they would not get off of it. So I just left it there, and I would wash them off every time and try to eliminate them, but. They kept coming back to that one plant, so I finally just left them because I, then I was scared that they might uh, move on to other plants. I wanted to come back here and look at this um, pink brandy wine because I think I saw some more fruit coming there. It's so cute on these little San Marzano. A really neat uh, shape. Oh, this one, this plant finally has some fruit. I planted these a little too close together. Don't know what I was thinking. This whole bed I've kind of, I wouldn't say messed up because I've gotten a lot of um, stuff from it already. But, um, yeah, he's still coming along. No more, I don't see any other fruit on this pink brandy wine. These cucamelons, though. I start seeing some some fruit soon, right? I mean, I know they're going to be little. Is that what those little buds are? No, oh, those look like the little flowers are starting to come out. We'll see. Nope, oh, dropped my glove. I made a funny little post on my Instagram talking about these ugly ass cucumbers that I've got. Some of them are just so ugly. Look at this one. These are the... This particular plant is supposed to be bragger. I mean, maybe they got mixed up. I don't know. I got some more cucumbers that I got from the nursery that I need to plant. I didn't plant them yesterday evening because I didn't realize it was going to rain. The forecast changes so much this time of year. But... Um, but I am, um, gonna plant those. I did plant one, a burpless bush. I did plant that one. It's a burpless bush hybrid, uh, slicing cucumber. I planted it in a container at the, at the house. I've never grown vegetables in containers. This is my very first year, so... We'll see how it goes. This sun gold is just really cranking out some fruit here. Very healthy plant. Oh, looks like uh, my chives are going to be blooming soon. What 
the little Dr. Seuss trees on the top. I literally could stay out here for hours if it stayed morning like this. Once that sun comes all the way up, it gets hot. Some artichoke. I don't know why this fascinates me so much. And the corn is still looking awesome. I'm always worried this is gonna die out. So I'm gonna plant uh, some of these skyscraper. Man, look at him, he has just got pollen all over him. I'm gonna plant some of these skyscraper sunflowers. what I just saw pop up. Okra. This is one of the spots that I didn't have an okra pop up. So I've got okra here, okra here. There's an okra plant. There's one back there. And I didn't have two pop up here. So there's that one. So I've got to train these watermelon around it because it's much smaller than the other plants. So I got one, two, I got three okra here. One, two, three, four, five, now six. Then that's seven right there. I was supposed to have nine. And to my knowledge, that one that's in there <laughs> didn't germinate. And the one that's in between there did not either. So, seven is still better than none, for sure. Need to look at my garden journal and see about some of the um, see about some of the um, estimated um, harvesting dates that I had put on the varieties based off of their seed pack. So when I plant my plants, even if I start them in the greenhouse, I keep a diary journal of that and I create a little um, chart that tells me based off of the seed packet when I can expect to harvest it. And we're getting close to that date for a lot of these things, but I'm afraid that the cold and the freeze that we had in the early part of May has stunted some of this stuff. So those dates may be shifted by about two weeks. And at the end of next month, we're supposed to be going down, well, we are not supposed to be, we're going down to visit our family. And we, um, I'm worried about leaving the garden for a week, but we have some great volunteers that are going to help us take care of it. But that's when my, the majority of my harvesting is going to come in, I think. Hopefully, we'll have some tomatoes to take down. We should. At least at least these uh, Cherokee purple. I don't think the beef steaks will be ready. I don't know. They might be. Definitely have some cherry tomatoes to take. As we start getting into these hot months... We will definitely have um, enough heat to get this stuff popping. 
anyway, I'm going to finish up what I'm working on here this morning. Thank y'all for joining me in the garden as I'm doing my morning pest check. Thank you for watching our, our videos. And we do um, a lot more things than just gardening. That just happens to be what we're doing right now. I wanted to start a YouTube channel for a really long time. Um, just kind of highlighting some of the, the cool things that we get to do as a family because of our work at Semper Canine. We've gotten to do some pretty interesting things over the years. And just um, having this extra little bit of downtime jump started me to start a YouTube channel. So if you like the gardening videos, I'll have plenty more gardening videos. If you're not a huge fan of the gardening videos, I'll have a lot of videos that aren't gardening related as soon as things start getting back to normal. So, um, we will be going to Pigeon Forge with our family at the end of uh, July. So, I will do some videos about that. We will be going down to Mobile to see our family at the end of July and going fishing out in the Gulf. So, I'll do some videos about that. Um, but, like I said, that just right now, this gardening is our life. <laughs> Uh, my husband is out here every day uh, training service dogs for veterans, so maybe I can give y'all a peek inside of that. We normally like to, um, you know, maintain the privacy of the veterans that we serve, but we have a few that are interested. We have a service dog graduation coming up this Friday, so maybe I can give y'all a tiny peek into that and let y'all see what that looks like. But, um, you know, our life is starting to slowly get back to some sort of normal, and Gardening has been what has saved us right now during this time. We've had this space, and I'm very fortunate to have a place I can travel to throughout this time where I have been able to remain socially isolated and protect my family from any outside elements. And we have this outlet to really help maintain our mental health. But um, the time is starting to come where we will not be able to do this. So, um, I mean, we'll still be able to come out and garden, but not, not as much as we have been doing. Life is about to start getting busy again. So, again, we do more than just gardening. And I will continue to do my gardening videos because that's a big part of what I enjoy. But we will also be sharing uh, on this YouTube channel um, just our life in general and all of the things that we do as a family. You can follow my Instagram if you want to look back through and see some of the things that we have always been doing. But our life is like a crazy train is what we call it. Like the song. Uh, we just hold on and, and let it take us where it's going to take us. But anyway, thank you all for joining me this morning. I'll be back out here this evening to plant, even though we are supposed to have some more thunderstorms. Um, but I have to get some of these plants done. I am gonna put a couple of seeds in the ground in some spots where some of my sunflowers didn't germinate. And um, I will be getting some of that done before I head home. That's crazy. Make me laugh. From Clayton. Anyway, y'all have a wonderful uh, Tuesday. Enjoy your week. I'll see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.